Pope St. Pius V established the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary on October 7, in 1573, to thank God for the victory of Christians at Lepanto, a victory attributed to the praying of the Rosary. Pope Clement XI expanded the Feast to the Universal Church in 1716. While devotion to this prayer form waned a bit in the years immediately after Vatican II, interest in this long practice devotion is experiencing a resurgence as the faithful rediscover the beauty and spiritual benefit of this meditative practice. The name Rosary comes from the Latin Rosarium, which means Rose Garden. A rosary is widely considered a gift of roses to our Blessed Mother in Heaven. Meanwhile, in the year 1214, Mary appeared to St. Dominic and encouraged him to spread devotion to the rosary. He spent the rest of his life encouraging others to pray the rosary and founded a rosary confraternity to aid in this task. One hundred years later, Blessed Alan de la Roche divided the rosary into ten Hail Mary decades preceded by the Our Father. In the 15th century, the mysteries of the rosary were assigned to each of the decades. There are three mysteries in the Holy Rosary, the Joyful Mystery, the Sorrowful Mystery, and the Glorious Mystery. This gave people an opportunity to reflect on scripture while offering up this meditative prayer. In 1917, Our Lady appeared to three young shepherd children in Fatima, Portugal. She declared herself to be Our Lady of the Rosary and repeatedly urged the children to recite the Rosary daily. In more recent times, Pope John XXIII taught that the Rosary must have a threefold purpose, mystical contemplation, intimate reflection, and pious intention. On October 16, 2002, Pope John Paul II added a new set of five mysteries to the Rosary, known as the Luminous Mysteries, or the Mysteries of Light. They focus on Jesus' public ministry. In his apostolic letter, The Rosary of the Virgin Mary, he wrote that the Rosary, though clearly Marian in character, is at the heart a Christ-centered prayer. It has all the depth of the gospel message in it entirely. It is an echo of the prayer of Mary, her perennial magnificat for the work of the redemptive incarnation which began in her virginal womb.